Hey, this is not a game mode. I'm in grind mode. This money not old. My wallet can't fold. Living the life that I chose. I'm ten toes. I got like ten rolls. Steady thinking about my goals. Yeah. Welcome to the recovery vlog on my YouTube channel. If you haven't seen my last training vlog, check that out. But today we are in LA on the other side of the country. I'm about to do some dope recovery stuff. You can't have hard days every single day. Sometimes your body has to rebuild itself so it can come back stronger and you can go hard on those hard days. So today I'm gonna start off with some, some jogging. Usually if I'm on like regular grass, like on the earth, I would take my shoes off, my socks off. Uh, but since we're on some turf today, I'm just gonna jog in my shoes. So let's get into it. Anytime you do anything on the field or on the track, always think about that muscle memory. So when I'm even doing these jogs, I'm thinking about the things that I got coached up on in the last practice. So making sure arms are relaxed, shoulders relaxed, my legs are cycling at where they need to be, and I'm producing that force the most efficient way possible. As you guys can see, I'm rocking that Kadoo merch. I'm the first Kadoo athlete, so y'all should stay tuned for that because when this merch drop, it's gonna be, it's gonna be hot, man. It's gonna be very hot. So now I'm about to use my massage gun to break up some of this scar tissue, get some blood flowing even more. You should always roll out or use a massage gun before you stretch. For track athletes, massage gun is one of the best investments you can get. It helps prevent injuries, helps you recover faster, and it helps you perform better. It's kind of like having your own personal masseuse. And what's wild is like a few weeks ago, I paid to get this massage and he was using a massage gun. And I was like, I could have just bought a massage gun if you just go, you go use a gun on me this whole time. So invest in yourself and get you a massage gun. Unlimited the massages, anytime you want, anywhere you want. And this is not even an ad, this is not even a sponsor. I'm just saying this to help out athletes, no cap. If y'all have any questions about recovery, comment it below and I'll answer it in my next recovery vlog. Ooh, that's so good. So this is a trick you can use with your massage gun. Stretch out your leg and contract it again and move that muscle while the massage gun is vibrating in certain areas that are extra tight. Very useful. Cause this is what you do when you're running. Like your muscles are contracting and expanding. So you wanna make sure all the, the small muscle fibers in there are loose and ready to produce force. Okay, bet. Now I'm about to go through my main stretches. I'm gonna start from head and then go all the way down. Ooh. When you run, you use every muscle in your body. So you wanna make sure everything is loose, nothing is too tight. Cause all it takes is that one muscle to be tight that throws off your race. So I like going through from the top all the way down so I know I don't miss anything.
leg kicks. You want to do them on the side? I like to do 10 each leg for each, each one of these leg kicks. So after the side ones, do them straight forward like this. So now we did the shoulders, we did the neck, we did some hip stuff, we did some glute stuff, we did the hammy stuff, we did some quad stuff. Now we're gonna go into the calves. Okay. Moving down into the ankles now. My body feels lighter too after stretching, I swear. I feel like five pounds lighter. Oh, I got you. Thank you. <laughs> that did not go the direction I needed it to, but hey, that's why I run track, man. All right. Here are my top three favorite fast switch muscle exercises. Fast switch muscles help with quick sudden bursts of energy. So whether you're trying to jump out the blocks or hit that third gear when you're trying to hit top speed, you need to work on this. The first drill, it's called quick feet, of course. So you basically wanna take short, choppy steps as fast as you possibly can. Second one is called straight leg with high knee intervals. And you wanna hop and then every other step, switch knees as fast as you possibly can. So this third one is called D-skips. You switch your legs after every third step, like so. And you wanna make sure that high knee is quick as you possibly can. So don't be lazy with it. Like, take your three as quick as you can. Improve your fast switch muscles today, baby. So we got the basic recovery things out of the way. Now we're about to link up with Coach TJ, go over some more advanced stuff at the beach too and do some workouts on there as well. So let's get it. This water is really cold. So it's really good for recovery. Are to you recover. suggesting me getting in the water? Nah, I'm suggest suggesting you get in your water. You can hike your shorts up, but at least get your calves and to a point your knees. And if you're feeling brave, you can get your hamstrings and quads into it. I would not suggest you completely wet because you might get sick. That's why they wear wetsuits. But yeah, we just get some band work in. We get some band work in real quick, get some activation. Okay. Do a little bit of that, cool? I'm down for it. Let's do it. <laughs> to the beach. TJ here with us. We about to do some mechanic stuff. About to get right out here. Get sandy. Get better. Better than yesterday. Hey, recovery day out on the beach doing a little activation prepare for tomorrow's track workout. Tomorrow we're going to UCLA. Yes sir. We're on a track. So today we're going to do a little bit of band work, a little bit of activation, some drills, some stuff, a little bit of stretching, working on Jay's hamstring stuff they want to work on so we can execute it tomorrow and then come back do a high level sprint day Thursday. So I'm ready. It's kind of chilly out here, but we're gonna get it going. Yeah, I just had we'll to warm up to, to get used to this cold stuff. <laughs> Hands on hips. All right, now we're gonna work kind of slight power skips. <sighs> Pushing down through the ground, extending out like a coil, being firm up top, all right? Not too, not too crazy, keep, take it slow. Push through. Nice, push through. Nice, good job. Push through the ground. Push through the ground, yes sir. You feel yourself twisting? Yeah, all right, cool. So twisting is nothing but just how you're driving your knee up. So be conscious that you're twisting left and you're twisting right. So you drive up, drive it, hold it straight up so it projects you forward. Okay. If you're feeling yourself twist, it's probably because you're having a little bit of cross action that's taking you that way. Okay, right. makes sense. <clears throat> nice, nice. 
Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Nice. We're going to do that same thing now. We're going to add arms to that. Add okay. arms to that. Now, adding arms to is going to give us a little more height. Like we said, our arms move our legs. So once we incorporate our arms to it, it's going to give us more extension, more height. All right? Okay. So big arm drive to counteract the knee. Exchange, exchange. Ready? Let's do it. Yeah. Nice. Yes, sir. Push through. Be stable. Yes, sir. Track guys make mistakes all the time. It's not about making mistakes, it's how you overcome those mistakes mm -hmm. and how you execute the next step. Yeah. All right. Ready? Same thing coming back. Push through the ground. Nice. Push through. Push through. Push through. Push through. Nice. Good job. Grab those sticks. All right. So now we're going to hit. It's kind of like a quick feet, but basically what I want you to do is beat side, beat backside drum, nice and quick, like do 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 do. But feet fat, feet fire, and feet chatter mimic your arms. So do 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 do. All right, down. We're gonna walk that back because you might get tired. Okay, ready? Beating backside. Yep, quick, nice and quick. Yes, sir. Hit it harder. Hit it harder. Nice. Swing it. Yes, sir. Walk that back. Good job. Dark skinned dudes ain't built for this uh, <laughs> low sunlight. <laughs> <laughs> On me. <laughs> <laughs> All right, now we're gonna do the same thing here, right? But I want you to execute a longer arm swing to go with the quicker movement. So, <clears throat> longer backside, less front side. We'll still keep your feet in place, but it'll okay. hammer your feet into the ground. Make sense? So, I want you a longer extension to the back. You don't have to shorten it. You can go full to the back. You don't have to go front side, though. Okay. All right, but still quicken your feet up. Arms move your legs. Ready on you. Nice. Bigger arms back. Bigger arms back. That's it. That's it. You feel that? Nice. I see you running out of that. We're going to do some band work, some strengthening stuff. We're going to go front side legs and front side uh, arms, and we'll come back side legs, back side arms. Okay. How are we going to do it? We're going to try to. Give them a little break in between by switching between upper and lower body instead of staying completely upper, completely lower. That's kind of what we're trying to hear, trying to do here so we don't fatigue. Front side or back side first? You do front side first. You have a band. This band should go underneath your arm. All right, so let's go this side first. Band's gonna go underneath your arm here. Shouldn't be pulling against you. All okay. right, now counteract that with your hand here. Man. All right, so you feel that right there? Yeah, so hold that. So when you execute your arm motion, you'll feel yourself having to pull against. So pull it to right here, because right here pulls you this way. Up here pulls you up. We're not going that way completely, but we're going like this. Okay. Right. So that sweep is going to come through, pulling that way. All right. Working front side. All right. Shuffling your feet kind of slow, but working on that execution in the front side, maximum mechanics with your arm action. Okay. Take it slow. Then we got to go fast. Nice. There you go. Nice. Hey, when you're, when you're uh, doing them too, right? Yeah. Don't shrug your shoulders so much. Kind of let them relax, right? Let the band pull them down. Let the band pull them down. Only time you need to fight the band is when you're going up. All right? Okay. When it goes down, let it drop. It's okay if it goes low by your knee because when your arms sweep by your knee, it's actually pulling you back down to make contact with okay. the ground. So when you shrug them up, you're floating. You need to like bring yourself back to the earth. So don't be afraid to let it drop down and sweep low, sweep low, sweep low, sweep low, and fight it back out. All okay. Right? That makes sense. Yep. Take your time too. Make sure you ex execute each movement perfectly before you move forward. All right, sweep low, sweep low. Yes, sir. Solid. Watch that left arm. So watch your left arm, right? So your left arm's getting a little bit here, right? Okay. All right, although the band's pulling it that way, you gotta fight force with force and bring it back out here. Okay. All right, let's do that one more time. Fast, go slower. Yes, sir. Point, point it out front, not up. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Nice. Good job. Okay. <laughs> hey, the name of this episode is... Okay. <laughs> hey, Jay, jump in the ocean. Okay. All right. <laughs> I'll wait my... All right, so I'm going to hold it up here. And now what you're going to do is fire it back. Sweep low. Sweep is low. It? Hold up. Yeah, you can hold it. I would hold it. Oh, hold it? Okay. Yeah, so you can kind of rip it down. Sweep low by the knee, so think low, think low, like you're actually trying to pull it as far away from you as, as you possibly can, back to the backside, and then drive the elbow up. 
Okay. Sweep down, elbow up. Sweep down, elbow up. Ready to take your time though? Okay. Ready. Yep, on you. Take your time. Go. Nice. There you go. Nice. Yes, sir. Watch that front side though with that arm coming up. Okay. So watch this part in the front. You still can keep it here. Just just when it's when it's pulling, think about it, it's on a string. Just pull it down from here. It's almost like it was a cable in front of you. You can just pull the cable. 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 You don't have to worry about letting it come up. All right. Somebody asked me if you were fast. I was like, what? <laughs> I almost got mad at him. Like, shut up. <laughs> Must not know. <laughs> <laughs> Must not know. Nice, sweep back, sweep back, sweep back, sweep back, sweep back. Nice, good job. <laughs> Put this on your ankle, yep. Nice, so remember the drill we were just working on earlier with your hands on your hips? Mm -hmm. Out front, working on stability to the ground now, right? So don't worry too much about spilling the ground. We're about now working on that force up and out. So working on that hip flexor strength as well as quad strength. Oh, I'm falling over, right? But also you have the band now, right? So when you lift, you're gonna have resistance. And then when you're trying to execute heel out, knee up, it's gonna have a little more resistance. It's gonna help you with your top side, front side mechanics. All right, so we're gonna start here first, right? We're gonna do two down and back. Then we're gonna do our next one is gonna be here with a cycle, do that one time. Okay. All right, because it will fatigue our hamstrings. <laughs> I mean our hip flexor, sorry. Knee up, heel out. You can go arm action or you can go hands on hips, up to you. Nice. There we go. Good job. Good time. I know. I know we're fighting daylight, but don't kill yourself. You can get higher knee lift, more knee, uh, heel extension out in front too. Take your time. Ready? Yo yo. Nice. There you go. Yes, sir. Good job. Good job. My left side. You see I'm externally rotating that heel, I mean my foot right now, and I'm cycling back through. I'm getting a lot of exterior outside hamstring activation right now, mm -hmm. and then I'm gonna cycle it back up and bring it back across. All right? Okay. All right? You got 10 revolutions, 10 lefty, 10 righty. So. Make sure you cycle in a line. Make sure in alignment. Ready? Yep, knee up. Nice, don't go fast, go slower. Okay. You wanna do a strength workout, yep. Just go slower. Nice, you wanna go slower? So when you go slow, you wanna go slow in your deficient spots. Cause if you go too fast, you'll activate your stronger hamstring muscles, which will overcome, will overcompensate for your weaker ones. Through here, feel it through here, down. So bend this knee a little bit so you can get into the sand. That's it, right there. Yes sir. Nice, yes sir, you feel that? Now when you get to sh down here, make sure that stays straight until it gets to here and then bring it back to the front. Yep. So, yes sir, that's it right there, nice. That's you attacking the ground, bringing it to you. Yes sir, that's it, good job. Good job, don't do too many now, we'll fatigue our hamstrings. All good. Let's go two, last one. Nice, switch the sides. You guys wanna hear something weird? I had a dream about this like three weeks ago. I just didn't know why I was sitting here doing hamstring revolutions like this in the sand. Oh, you just had deja vu? Yeah, I just had deja vu. Uh, <laughs> switch sides, turn it the other way. Okay. Yeah, I get it all the time, but it just means I'm on the right path. On the right path. Nice, this is your strong side, right? So feel that pull through. Nice, you see how far out you stepped on your right side compared to your left? Yeah. Yeah, that's what you gotta kind of clean up when you're running so that you're even. You're even, because your right side will do all the work and your left side will not do anything. And then we ask for your left side, you're gonna be like, it's tired. Well, it's because we don't work on it because the right side's on the work. So the last variation of this is gonna be the quick one like you were doing earlier. It just needs to be, needs to be. <laughs> 10, 10, nice and quick. Okay. Nice, step out from that left. Nice, watch your, watch your hips, keep them straight. Nice, pull that ground to you. Three, two, you're good. Nice. Woo, get that right side. <laughs> Bring some more sand over. You can always move, as we're at the beach. <laughs> we are at the beach. <laughs> nice, pull it to you, step out front, pull it to you. Nice, stay upright. Nice, yes sir, cycle that. Yes sir, three, two, one. Thank you, sir. 
Hey man, that's all I got for you today. You gonna get in the water? Nope. Hey, Jay's getting the water. Nah. Jay's getting the water. You wanna see Jay getting the water? <laughs> <laughs> Not today. <laughs> Can y'all still, can you still see us? I'll take a cold shower. <laughs> y'all trying to get some food? What you want to eat? I don't even know what's around here. This is my first time out here, man. Hey, I went already, here today, hey, bro. It's only, it's only like third day out. Hey, <laughs> I will say this. There's something good about California I really enjoy. There's a lot of health conscious people out here, so it's not like how we are in the South sometimes where it's kind of hard to source right. food that's good. So if we want to look up stuff, juice spots and smoothie spots do stay open a little later out here, so. I'm all about an acai bowl. <laughs> uh, <laughs> but I had something like that this morning. Wait, <laughs> wait, wait. Cam just wants some wings. But there is an in it. <laughs> there is an in and out across the street from the hotel. I'm just oh no, nah, you know. nah. Yeah. I need some. I want something good. Sugar is not a sushi spot. You know what that is? I'll be down for that. Whatever it is, let's, we'll let's, let's do it. After a workout, protein is key. And chicken, protein style burger. I'm gonna throw a, a wrench in there. I don't really eat a lot of meat, so it's kind of hard for me to source protein other than meat. So I kind of look for stuff like beans, like they have tofu on the menu. I, I will eat fish to get my protein, but I try to stay away from a lot of the red meats and like a pork. Chicken is probably as far as I can go, but like some most, nuts have like protein in it, right? Yeah, yeah. nuts for sure. I love. <laughs> you're not gonna get me saying that on camera. <laughs> I eat nuts sometimes. It is. <laughs> <laughs> hey. I love nuts. Shut up. <laughs> Shut up. Yeah, if you're vegan or vegetarian, like I yeah. forgot which nut it is though. Oh, most of the nuts, though. Most of the nuts, bro. <laughs> <laughs> so the post-workout meal is in. I got the Impossible Burger with the side salad. I don't even know what all is in here, but it looks pretty healthy. And I'm about to dive into this. Thank y'all for tuning into the vlog. Um, I'm about to tune into this meal. I got the Baja Fish Tacos with the Parmesan Truffle Fries. And we had the app though. We had the caulif Baja caul Cauliflower, which was banging. I ate it with the chopsticks, so it was super Asian inspired. It's all good, I'm ready to eat. <laughs> yeah.